Guys, many congratulations. We are officially and technically getting into the course. Already. Before we go ahead, jump into the concepts of Salesforce, its potential advantages and related stuffs. Let's first understand what is Salesforce. If you had done some R&D before, it might be a simple straightforward question for you. Right? What is Salesforce.com? Yes. It is a CRM. Salesforce.com is a CRM. Say for instance, operating system. We have many operating systems, Linux, Unix, Windows, etc. Consider software languages. We have many, C, C++, Java, Python, SQL, etc. Right? On the same lines, when we consider CRM, we have many CRM and Salesforce.com is a CRM. Okay, so now we know Salesforce.com is a CRM. But what is a CRM? Right, we got to understand the concept of CRM. Let's do a small exercise so that we can understand the concept of CRM and ERP better. Because I strongly feel that anyone who is working in a CRM or a ERP should have at least a high level understanding of what's a CRM, what's a ERP, what's the difference. Only then we will be able to understand and appreciate their similarities and dissimilarities. Okay, so uh, let's work on a small case study. Here we go. Go Mobile Limited is a company that manufactures and sells mobile phones. So what do you think are the various business units of Go Mobile? I would uh, strongly recommend you to pause the recording for a few minutes, pin down your response and then resume. So now we are going to sort out the business units of Go Mobile. Okay. So it talks about Go Mobile and that's a company that manufactures and sells mobile phones. So definitely like there should be a manufacturing unit. Right? So there comes the enterprise unit, which is the manufacturing unit. And what's the whole objective of this enterprise unit? To manufacture mobile phones. Okay, so manufacturing is done. So what next? Next is the sales unit. Definitely they got to have some unit which sells the product, right? Which sells the mobile phones that has been manufactured by the enterprise unit. And that's the whole objective of sales unit. What next? Service unit. Because definitely post sales, service is required. Because for any product we buy, we expect service to be done post sales. It's a service unit. So what are all the various subunits of enterprise unit? Inventory management, resource planning, product planning, product development, manufacturing, product cost, shipping, payment. These are all the various subunits of enterprise unit. And considering sales unit, they have the customer information in place. They do calendaring, marketing, reports, opportunities, emails. And the service unit that is post sales. They, they are very much connected with the customer via the social networking sites. They keep on sending out emails. They are in touch with the customer. And so these are the main uh, subunits of service unit. But if you notice here, the enterprise unit is highlighted in a different color and sales and service unit are grouped together and they are highlighted in a different color. So why is that so? Just, just give it a thought. Why is that enterprise unit is separated and sales and service unit are on the other side? So what's the major difference between enterprise unit and sales and service unit? The answer is customer. Customer centric. Enterprise unit forms the back office. They are not customer centric. They are enterprise centric. Whereas sales and service unit are customer centric. They form the front office. They interact with the customer. Only they know like how many customers are existing in the market for their product. What are all their feedback? What are all their issues? What are all their concerns? What do they expect out of the product? How many customers are existing in the market for their product? Across which all territories? All information regarding the customer, only the sales and service unit would know. Because they deal with the customer. The enterprise unit is completely back office. 
wherein sales and service unit are completely front office. So that is called as ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, and sales and service unit forms CRM, Customer Relationship Management. So ERP means planning the resource of an enterprise, and CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. That is, you manage the relationship with your customer. How would you manage the relationship with your customer? How do you manage a good relationship with your customer? Say, for example, you hold an account with uh, Bank of America, and uh, one day you have some query. You just call them up uh, to find out uh, some information. So you're calling them up, and you you give some details. If they are not able to retrieve your account information, say, for example, like you want to um, check the status of a check. and if they are not able to retrieve the information on your account it is very much likely that they might lose their business all right so having the customer information in place is very very essential for a crm so that is how you maintain a good relationship with your customer so the dissimilarity is erp is not customer centric whereas crm is completely customer centric and what are all the similarities similarity is is more on the way they work the methodology they work they have a ui when it interacts with the database and the way they generate reports and dashboards and the process on that perspective yes they are similar so they have both similarities and dissimilarities okay so now we have an overall understanding of what is a erp and what is a cr all right perfect and we know that salesforce.com is a crm similarly what other crms are existing in the market what all erps are existing in the market i have listed down very few crm salesforce.com crm sebel crm peoplesoft crm sugar crm microsoft dynamics crm there are many crms i have just listed on very few but there are many crms in the market similarly erps SAP, Oracle eBusiness, so JD Edwards, Sage, Momentum. There are many ERPs. All right, let's keep ERP aside because, like, our concentration is more on Salesforce.com, which is a CRM. So let's talk about CRM. Among the hundreds of CRMs that are existing in the market, I've listed on only five. Okay, my next question is: We know that there are so many CRMs already existing in the market. then why is that salesforce.com is the world's number one crm what made salesforce.com crm to stand away from the crowd right we got to know this because uh, uh, maybe in your office or among your friends you heard salesforce salesforce and that that has basically brought you to this training so we got to understand that in spite of so many crms already existing in the market why is that i am here to learn salesforce what is that that is a differentiating salesforce from other crms what is that that is making salesforce to stand away from the crowd why yes you're going to understand why and what has made salesforce.com crm to stand away from the crowd think about it let's discuss about that in the next lecture